Hey guys, it's Artsy Simmer and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Sims 3 speed build for you guys. This is a build for my Sims 3 Let's Play uh, Twin Brook Architect. I'll link it in the description if you guys haven't seen it, but basically my Sim is in the architectural design career and she just goes around renovating people's houses, well, one room at a time. And basically I'm just going to play until she um, accomplishes her lifetime goal, which is the architectural design career, which she has to get 100 great reviews and then yeah, so far I've only got two, but it's fine. We're still early on in the series, so I didn't have very much money. Too much money? What am I trying to say? I didn't have too much money to spend on a house, unfortunately. So, um, I think she had around 23,000 simoleons whenever I moved to this lot. And, um, I did bring some items from her old house with her, so she wouldn't have to, um, repurchase them and just waste some money on that. And, as you can see, I was having... <clears throat> so much difficulty with this roof. I had no idea what to do. I wanted to just use gabled roofs, but it looked kind of weird. And then I tried to use the gabled roofs with the uh, whatever that other roof is, and it's just weird. So I ended up going with something a little more modern. So I just used flat roofs and half roofs. And so, but you can see it's taken me a really long time to figure out this roof system. And it's, I hate roofs. <laughs> it's my least favorite part of a build, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I just decided to go with flat roofs because they're easier for me. And in The Sims 3, if I can't figure out the roof, I usually go with a half roof. Even though I wasn't going to uh, make the house modern. I'm like, you know what? It's going to be modern anyway because I can't figure out the roof. But, um, the name of this house is Savannah Lane because, um, the address for this lot is... Um, some numbers, Savannah Lane, and I am uncreative whenever it comes to naming houses, and didn't feel like looking up a name generator, so I just went with whatever the address of the lot was, so that's why it's called Savannah Lane, and it is in my studio, and by the time this video is uploaded, I should have it available in my sim file share as well, so I'll have both of those links in the description for you guys to download, so uh, yeah, on the Sims 3 official site. Um, I'll have a link to that one and then my sim file share, which is just like a file sharing website for sims content. So, yeah. And this isn't um, a starter home per se, I don't think, because I think in the sims 3 you start out with 20,000 simoleons, I'm pretty sure. But um, the price of this house is 23,270 simoleons. But if you wanted it to be a starter home, you could easily just put it into a test world or something and move a sim in it. Have them play in it a couple of days. And the price should go down quite a bit enough to make it a starter home price. So, um, you know, if that's something you'd like to do, then you could probably do that. Um, I was going to play in a few days, try to bring the price down a little bit so that it was a starter home. But I've just built so many starter homes in The Sims 3 recently. Because I did the whole um, Zodiac Starter series, which I'll link that series in the description for you guys. Also, it finally completed. But, um, yeah. So, I didn't want to do another starter home. Even though, technically, it's still basically a starter home. I mean, it's only 23,000 simoleons. And the unfurnished price is 15,460 simoleons. I'm not sure what the lot size is. Uh, because I did forget to write that down. I think it's 20 by 30, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that's what it might be. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I do change the roof color because it is gross. So, yeah, I think this is where I'm changing the roof color, actually. Yeah. I, I wish there was more metal roofs because I wanted a metal roof, but I wanted something that's not exactly black. Maybe, like, a light gray or well, a dark gray. But I, the only ones they have are, like, a bright blue, white, and black. So, yeah, I just couldn't figure out the color I wanted for it. And I did find a reference image for this build. Um... I'll insert a picture of it right now if I can find it. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find it. I still have it saved on my phone, I'm pretty sure. But, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, I got the style of the exterior from the image, and then I just kind of tweaked the rest of it from a few different images. So, <clears throat> um, in the reference image, however, the... What am I talking about? <laughs> um, the color of the house. It was blue. And so, you saw earlier I was going to go with a blue um, wallpaper, but I, I go with blue a lot. Either blue or green are usually my go-to colors for exterior siding. And I didn't want to do that again, so I decided to go with red instead. Um, I don't really use red too often. 
I think I might have used it a couple of times, but um, yeah, I, I thought the red looked better with this anyway. So that's what I decided to go with instead of the blue. And then uh, I just decided to go with the yellow door because in the picture, it was the same color as the wood that I used because the door was in the siding part in the picture and it, I, I was just going off of that idea. But um, yeah, it just didn't look right and I didn't want to make it red because I thought it'd look weird. So I just decided to go with um, yellow. But I like to use the colorful doors, so why not? I went with it. And then the idea I had for the garage, I didn't want it to be a garage. I wanted it to be her studio. And so, um, yeah, it does have a garage door, but it was like, it was like she renovated the garage to become her studio because I couldn't afford a car. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not exactly playing in this series, like playing the actual game too much. I'm just um, playing through the architectural design career. So it's basically just me renovating a bunch of houses in this series. So she doesn't really, well, I don't record much of her being in her house too much. So I felt there was really no need for her to have a car anyway. Um, same with the laundry room. Well, it's not really a room that I put in the kitchen, but I put a washer and dryer in the kitchen. Um, there wasn't really a necessity for it but I had nothing else to put there so that's why I decided to go with it and then um, I was gonna put her drafting table and her easel in the garage as well I was just gonna put all of her crafting items in there but the room was too small and it didn't fit because I did have to have a shower in there because she tends to catch on fire whenever she uses the um, workbench thing so yeah I had to put a shower in there and there wasn't room for an easel and the drafting table so I just put those in her bedroom but it's fine because her bedroom's pretty good size it's about the same size as the garage actually I'm pretty sure it is the same size as the garage so I just decided to put it in her bedroom and it works it's fine and I wanted to put the sink in front of the window but I thought it was weird to have the stove beside the refrigerator so uh, that's why the kitchen layout's kind of weird but it's fine and I didn't want to put her bed just like up against the wall like you know normal so I decided to stick it in a corner and it is accessible. I did test this house, uh, you know, which is very unlike me, but I did test this house beforehand because I had my sim play in it for, I believe a day or so. And so I, I just had to make sure everything worked because I will actually be using this house in my let's play. So I just needed to make sure that everything worked properly and everything did that I tested. Um, um I know the showers work, the, um, the stuff in the garage works and all the appliances and everything worked and everything she used worked so that's good she didn't have any problems getting around the house and I do change that dining table because I realized it was too big and there was no way my sim could possibly get past the dryer and that chair so I just decided to go with a one square table instead because it's just my sim in this household and I don't plan on her getting married or anything because, uh, like I said, she's just doing the architectural design career. I have aging turned off, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, that's why I just put a single table. It's got three chairs, though, in case she ever decides to invite friends over, which is doubtful because she has a lot of friends, but I don't invite them over because I don't care. But, uh, yeah. I did cut out the recoloring of all the items and furniture, so you guys won't see that in the speed through, but it will be... Um, the recolored objects will be in the screenshots at the end of the video if you guys would like to see that. So stick around to the end of the video to see the screenshots. And yeah, so they're there. <laughs> it's fine. And then the lights, I just wasn't sure what to do with the lights. I don't like the lights downstairs. The bedroom lights, I like. Um, they made me happy. But downstairs, I wasn't too thrilled about the lights, the light situation. I just wasn't sure what to do with it. And then, um, yeah, basically uh, you saw... Um, I've mentioned it before whenever I'm doing a budget-based build I like to add in all the big furniture items and stuff first and then go back and decorate because I wasn't sure how much money I would have left and she only had 23,000 simoleons to begin with so it was basically building a starter house or at least I thought it would be but I forgot that she had a lot of the items that I brought from her house and then she had some stuff in her inventory that I could sell so um, yeah I had a little bit of extra money to spend on the house and then uh yeah but usually whenever i build a two-story starter home i never have enough money to decorate anything at all but you know in this one it did so it's good it's cool why not um uh, i keep calling it a starter home it's not necessarily a starter home but you know it's fine it's close enough right and then 
Um, yeah, so you see me going in and adding on furniture and the decorative items and stuff, but I did cut out the um, recoloring of it because I didn't want the video to be too long. Um, I didn't realize it was only going to be, but gonna be, okay, I don't know what just happened there. I didn't realize it was only going to be about a 12 minute video. Murphy, get down. I didn't realize it was only going to be about a 12 minute video. Um, if I cut out all the stuff, because, um, this build took me about two hours. I guess that's not too long, um, working on a build in The Sims 3, but I didn't have too many lag problems this time. So that was pretty good. And so it didn't take too long to build it. I just worked on it last night after dinner and I just kept working until it was finished and yeah so it only took it probably took an hour and 30 minutes and I don't think it took exactly two hours but uh yeah I didn't realize that it didn't take that much time so I didn't record any of the um recoloring of the items because it usually makes my videos like 20 minutes long whenever I put that in or well if it's a bigger lot then it takes a lot longer, obviously, but, uh, yeah, I just decided to cut it out because why not? And, yeah, so I don't really know what else to say about this lot. I believe this is the last house that I am, uh, decorating. Yeah, it, the screenshots are coming up pretty soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys are enjoying my series. Um, again, links will be in the description for the download of this house and for the series. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!